we have here is a nearly, I would say, excellent to mint condition uh, Sport 2 and that was owned by Rick Hawkins. Sport 2 155. And he is extremely careful with his equipment. Has the nose ever touched the ground? Nose has never touched the ground. Okay. Never been bummed. Look at this nose. It gets wiped down every time I fly it. It does? It's it gets washed. It gets washed twice a year. Look at that. It's never touched the ground. That nose is perfect. And this has got the uh, the rip, the... Uh, rip stop. Yeah, the rip stop. This, this leading edge is perfect. Yeah. Look at this leading edge. Wow. Very good care of it. Yeah. How many hours do you think are on it? Ooh, look at this wingtip. Let's see, let's see if you got any ice plant stains. Very little ice plant stain. Good job, Rick. Got about 70 hours. Wow, you didn't even get the wings dirty. It's got about 70 hours. About 70 hours? You never touch the wingtips to the ground. Yeah, I don't get a lot of hours. Wow. Dude, you, you totally, this is like brand new. I'll keep it clean. I wipe the dust off every time. Yeah, this is in great shape. It's a Will's Wing Sport 2 155. Let's take a look at the... Uh, yeah. Placard. Placard here. Yeah. What does it say? I can't really see it, but it maybe around it on this says, I'll hold it. Let me hold the glass. Let's see what it says here. You might want to bring the camera around. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, I'll get a picture of that later. So anyway, so this is in great shape. Let's let's take a look at this other wingtip over here and see if you got any ice plant stains on the wingtip, Rick. It's clean. Oh my God, It's these are the cleanest wingtips I've ever seen. Yeah, I can't believe it. Because usually what happens is, you know, you put it, you dip them in the, in the uh, ice plant over there. And uh, man, look at this leading edge. Oh yeah. It's a sweet glider, flies straight as an arrow. Wow. Light bar wow. pressure when you get the BG out. Okay, yeah. So we got red, we got black, black and Fluorescent yellow. Fluorescent yellow. And you have, which which I think is really cool, these these round base bars yeah. are extremely comfortable. I prefer them yeah. to the uh, other ones. And uh, so that that is actually, believe it or not, an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> it's an upgrade. It's considered an and upgrade. It, yeah, and it has it has the uh the VG, you know, set up on the uh the round Never. speed bar. They call this a speed bar. Ooh, that VG feels. Oh, that's easy to pull. That's wow. Well, that's easy to pull. Okay. Well. Never broke a down tube on it. It's never had a broken down tube. Whoever no. buys this is going to be real happy. Yeah. I've had good landings on this. Very, very sweet flying glider. Thermal's nice. It's just, I got to let it go. Okay. It's just gotta... Well, you, you bought a new glider, so. I bought a new glider. I'm moving up. So Rick, what Rick does is he, he sells his gliders when the ashtrays get full. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, so he sells them when they're still new. You, you buy a glider like every year or two, don't you? Uh, about every every other year. Every other year. This is yeah. probably the best Sport 2 you're going to find. And, and how there. old is this one? Ah, it's got two seasons on it now, I believe. Okay, so it's probably about two, two years. Two, two and, a half. And, and how many hours again? About 70. About I'm, 70. I'm guessing I okay. can get an exact number if you want, because I do I do log my hours. So mm -hmm. Okay, while well, you log your hours. Okay, great. I'm well, about 70. this is a great glider for somebody. All right, thank you very much here at Fort Funston. Oh, yeah. And it's been flown here at Funston, which is very low That's UV idle. Yeah, very low place. UV hours. Yeah. Okay, great.